Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot, it's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys, shout out to all the subscribers, I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is the first time to your channel, to your channel, to my channel, Jesus, welcome, <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've been here, I do apologize for that, but let's get into some messages, let's see what's going on with your person, uh, this can be somebody that you are no longer with, um, a situation that you may not understand why it ended the way it did or this could be someone that you are in contact with now okay so somebody wants to reconcile with you reconciliation is here let's see what else is going on and regret somebody truly regrets the way that they treated you seems to be a third party situation here um why do they regret it now had no problem when it was going on but this person truly regrets how they treated you wow tell the truth is here got to move on is here heartbroken this person broke your heart in a way that they treated you or discarded you um and anxiety i love you but i love me more and you are extremely attractive when you're working on yourself this feels like somebody that you are no longer with watching you and kind of watching your glow up, watching you do better for yourself. They may not have thought you would have, especially with you, me, and she here. They really thought that being, I don't know. I just feel like they, I don't know if they thought they could outsmart you with whoever this other person was and you wasn't going to feel it um, or move on from it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. This person's already coming up shady loyalty in the middle of it so let's put some tarot on this to see what was going on here because this person wants you back um looks like seeing you do better is causing them anxiety or maybe they're thinking that you're going to find somebody better than them oh wow everything's falling out the magician is here page of swords two of cups they feel like you are manifesting new love completely and totally that you do not want anything to do with them at all any way shape or fashion like you don't want anything to do with this person at all you're very balanced in your decision when it comes to them you not what happened between this person and a third party i got the ten of wands here and moving on moving on from this person is a burden they may be financially tied to this third party or have children with them. There's some type of heavy, heavy load that has to be carried and they want to move on from it. Why? They see that they should have, they should have played their position better with you. You would have waited for them to get themselves together financially, it looks like. It just looks like you were, you were in a good, place at the time that you guys met where you were kind of open and flexible and they took advantage of it and put you in a third party situation you knew it though it was almost like you were being told at times what was going on maybe there were other people around trying to tell you about this my queen of swords, the empress, and the high priestess. I think you truly love this person, but they have to sit in their judgment. A perception, their mind, their mindset has to change when in order to be able to love anyone that would even come close to the type of love that you gave them. Especially coming up as a son, the lovers, there's nothing but major arcana cards up here. You changed your life. You changed your perception of love. It's not about a physical act that you do with someone. It's about how you treat them. It's about um, building together rather than being each other's competition. It's like a lot of lessons up here um that's why they want to reconcile with you so bad what's the issue with them in this uh third party they truly love you they have no, there is nobody that compares to you at all even how much passion they have how much love they have new desires that they can discover with you all of this is just you it's like fate and only let me pick up the car the wheel the fool 
They just want to know if you'll take another chance with them. Uh, they know. It's almost like fear of the unknown. He has a, whoever this masculine is, because this is a masculine, he has a lot of love for you to the point where it's too emotional, um, especially with this King of Cups and all this water I'm looking at. It's like this person's emotions for you are spilling out all over the place. So they really need to get a handle on themselves. It may become a little um, obsessive over you, not wanting you to get into a relationship with anyone else, um, not wanting anyone else to see the, the good in you or to see the type of partner you would be to them. But they can't stop fate, destiny. Like this person is trying, I, I want to say like trying to change your destiny um, in a way. They can't. You want nothing to do with this person. Like, you're not even, um, I don't even see you talking to them. They want to have a conversation. They know you have a lot of choices. But they want to say sorry. And they want to explain how much they love you. What happened with this third party? Because that was the question that I asked. But I'm getting a lot of you coming up rather than them talking about this other person. What happened with this third party? Wow, five of swords. It's really like they... I'm out of five of swords. Trying to get to a victory with this third party or trying to get on an even accord or I guess maybe build was becoming an uphill battle. This person does not have that type of mindset. This may be a person, you know what's so funny, especially coming up with this five of swords. The type of love that you gave, you were so genuine and you, it's unconditional love. This person's love comes with conditions. So they had to give more to this situation that they, than they were willing to. Um, but because you were gone, they actually went in, into this situation a little bit deeper. Um, and then they realized this person, they were wasting their time with them, especially nine of cups, the world you're over here looking great. You're over here looking like you have cut off dead weight. You look better. Your skin's better. Everything about you's better. Your wardrobe's better. What you're doing is better. I don't know, but your whole aura is better with this person not being around and they are stuck in a situation where they're being used. Um, and they don't feel loved feel like they're in a no-win situation that they feel trapped in. <laughs> they don't even know how to get out of it. All they do is argue with this other person. They want to offer you love because they're still holding on to you. However, they do not know how you're going to accept them. They don't know if you're going to even listen to them. They don't know if you're going to give them the time of day. They just don't know. But the only thing they do know is that they want to build with you after you left. Are there any more messages here, Spirit? Anything this person wants to say to the collective? Oh, wow. Queen of Wands came out in reverse. This, oh, wow. This third party knows about you. Um, my Ace of Swords. They know the truth about you. I think your, your person tried to lie to explain why you and them didn't work out or whatever, but this, this karmic knows about you and knows the truth about you too. Actually looks, this person might, I don't want to say they're necessarily watching you, but they know enough about you to respect who you are. They respect you. That's crazy. Like they, the, you work hard, you're strong. You walked away because you were strong enough to walk away. Um, they know that about you. What is this? Why is she, why is she staying? I think that this, this is crazy. This kind of went deep. I think this karmic female is here because it's like, <sighs> just being guided by lies from this person. Like they allow your person to lie to them. That's the best way I could describe it. Like they allow them to lead them. Maybe they're not strong enough to lead themselves. They're already a karmic not for nothing you got to learn the lessons you know what i mean this is this is this karmic is in the lesson you've learned this lesson already 
That's why she's not walked away yet. She's learning the lesson. What's the outcome here? What is the outcome here? This person's not going to leave you alone. Um, they're going to continue to try to come towards you. Um, it's almost like they feel trapped. Uh, when, uh, not being able to have access to you or to communicate with you, it's got them feeling trapped. Like they've, they've lost all control. Here you are as the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, you may, I, I want to say here, really, you're allowing this person to take accountability for themselves. And you're allowing this tower to stay fallen. You're allowing it to fall the way it should. There's no reason to go back. You know this. You know it would be reckless to go back to someone who would be so reckless with your heart. It's going to make this person, this, it's, damn. They have, they're going to be regretful and depressed because you're going to say no to them. They're going to approach you in some sort of way, shape, or fashion. I don't know if they're calling you. I don't know if they're going to um, approach you. Some kind of way this person is going to be rejected by you. They know you've officially walked away. There's Ten of Swords here, though. This person um, has betrayal coming. That's probably what a lot of you want to know. Like, what is going on here with this third party is about to betray them with someone else. So the lesson is about to be learned on both parts, with your person and with that third party. It's going to cause, ooh, it's going to cause him to have to look at himself. The fact that he's codependent and reckless. There's nothing else. If he want to hold on to being codependent and reckless, he can. Or he can have a self-enlightenment and grow the fuck up and not put himself in this situation and stay with people that he's not happy with, treat people that he is happy with like shit, make it make sense next time, and you won't have this type of outcome. It's really crazy. But these are their lessons. You've already learned the lesson. They truly have to learn. These are two karmics learning the lesson. Let's get last minute messages from this person. I want to feel that way again. I know I messed everything up. I lost myself for a little while. So many things remind me of you. And I wish I could take my words back. I left when I saw you with someone. We need to let each other go. We will be together again. I want to tell you how I feel. This person has a lot of insecurities. Um, didn't know what they wanted to do with you, especially I, I left when I saw you with someone, we need to let each other go. It's almost like they like to make snap judgments really quickly and assume shit. And when you make an assumption, you make an ass out of yourself. Didn't know the whole situation there. Uh, we will be together again, and I want to tell you how I feel is here. I bury myself in work to forget you, and I love you. So this person feels as though they were just a distraction from your pain. Maybe y'all got together when you had just broken up with somebody or that person, whatever that situation was. But they feel like you, here's the irony, you were supposed to, <laughs> this is your twin. You were supposed to elevate each other. It's just your twin didn't get the, the memo. Um, you definitely elevated, but right now uh, they kind of got to lie in their bed. They, they made that bed, they got to lie in it and figure out how to get the hell out of it if they want to learn the karmic lessons that you've learned. So I don't know, I feel like that one kind of went a different way. Um, sometimes you can look on the other side of a situation and not be so angry. Um, cause I'm not even angry with this karmic female. It's more like get the fuck up and get out of there. Why are you sitting in that situation with someone who you're going to eventually cheat on anyway? And then he's sitting there not knowing when to get up from the fucking table because he's not even happy and he is going to get cheated on. That 10 of swords is right there. He's going to feel betrayal, but again, this is their fate. So let it play out. All right, guys, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.